Jose Luis Barcenas Gutierrez served as party treasurer of Spain's Partido Popular and a senator, formerly a key player in his party's accounts department. Since 2009 he has been embroiled in political corruption scandals. In 2018 he was sentenced to a 33-year prison term and a 44 million euros euro fine for his role in the Good Tail Trial. Luis Barcenas started working in the People's Party Accounts Department in 1990. And he became the chief administrator of the party in 1993. In 2008, the president of the party, Mariano Rajoy, personally chose him as treasurer to replace Alvaro Lopueta. He pursued a parallel career as a politician. And in 2004 and 2008, he was elected to represent Cantabria in the Senate. His time as treasurer was short, as he, temporarily, resigned in 2009 when his implication in the Gutale scandal became too much of a public embarrassment for the party. Barcina stepped down from the Senate in 2010, and his resignation as treasurer was made definitive. Until early 2013, he nonetheless retained access to a private office at the PP headquarters and continued to receive payments from the party equivalent to his salary under circumstances which are disputed. In 2011 the case against him was put on hold because of uncertainty regarding the identification of individuals described by initials or an alias. However, the case was reopened in 2012 when he was accused of tax fraud and of receiving illegal payments. The controversy around him further flared up in January 2013. When the Swiss authorities informed the Gutel investigation that he held a Swiss bank account that had contained 22 million euros. Additionally, he admitted using the 2012 tax amnesty voted by the PP to legalize 10 million euros hidden through a Uruguayan company. In 2013 Spain's two main dailies, El Mundo and El País, alleged that the PP had used unofficial parallel accounting to hide slush money from illegal donations. Two former treasurers, Barcinas and his predecessor Lopueta, allegedly used these illegal donations in part, to make under-the-table payments to PP leaders. The donations in question appear to contravene party financing laws on two counts. First, for exceeding the €60,000 limit for any one individual or company. Second, many alleged donors were involved in the construction sector and were simultaneously being awarded government contracts. However, there were indications that measures had been taken to keep donations within the letter of the law. El País published facsimiles of handwritten, secret ledgers, suggesting that Mariano Rajoy, the Prime Minister of Spain, Maria Dolores de Cospedal, the Secretary General of the People's Party, and many other high-ranking PP officials, received undeclared money. Initially all implicated politicians, including Barcinas, strongly denied any wrongdoing. However, in July 2013, shortly after Barcinas' imprisonment, El Mundo reported that Barcinas accepted that there had been irregular funding of the People's Party. There has been speculation that the money Barcinas kept in Switzerland was connected to party funding. Such a connection has been denied by Barcinas and the People's Party but has been supported by the testimony of Francisco Correa. Barcinas has said that the money in question came from his own business interests. One of these interests was claimed to be art dealing, supposedly a cash-rich activity. Facing a range of charges including tax fraud and money laundering. On June 27, 2013, Barcinas was sent to prison pending trial. The decision not to grant bail at that time was taken by Judge Pablo Raz to avoid the risk of flight and ensure the preservation of sources of evidence. He was released on bail in January 2015. Judge Raz had announced the previous summer that he was in a position to proceed against 45 Gutel suspects, including Barcinas, because of the size of the case. It was divided into different epochs. The trial began in October 2016 with 1999 to 2005 as the epoch under investigation. Verdicts in respect of these initial proceedings were announced in May 2018. On May 24, 2018, Barcinas was given a 33-year prison sentence, while his wife Rosalia Iglesias was given a 15-year sentence.
Barcinas is married to Rosalia Iglesias Villa, who was also sentenced to a prison term in May 2018. The couple's son, Jalermo, is a musician, known for his participation in a group called Taburete. Barcinas was played by the actor Pedro Casablanc in the 2015 film B. Le Pellicula. Casablanc's performance was nominated for the Goya Award for Best Actor. Media related to Luis Barcinas at Wikimedia Commons.